Hello everyone, welcome back to Autocrat Primer where we love us some what? Transformers! More than meets the eye. Exactly what we're going to take a look at tonight is Cyclonus! This is actually the very first Cyclonus I own in my collection. Um, I'm kind of very much of an... Uh, 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 the one thing for me is I love the 1986 movie. And I have always wanted from Hasbro the 1986 movie figures that looked like they did in the 86 movie. And today, I ended up with Cyclonus coming in the mail. Box is kind of kind of dented up and messed up. Don't do that again. And uh, kind of like, you know, say don't do it again. Um, you don't want to flush things down the toilet when you get a dent up box. So I kind of got this guy, came in, and he does come with the arc, which is the card, which I have all my little cards in here from Titans Return, Power of the Proms. And we do have the Autobot arc that comes in with him. And so with that, I was very excited to have it. Uh, my wife loves stickers, so I know they will have their own little home. So we're going to take a look at Cyclonus. Now, my wife did surprise me with him, and he did come in today from Amazon, no less. And so when I got this guy in, I was doing a live stream with Lord Master Starscream, and we had Vay Mahal, and we had others that was a part of it, which was awesome. Uh, we're going to try and do that every Friday night on his channel. On Wednesdays, we're going to try and do the same thing on Autocrat Primer. And then Mondays, um, we're going to try and do the community for all of us. But let's take a look at this bad boy right now. I got to tell you, it's actually surprisingly cool and accurate. No head syndrome. Very nicely done. Yes, I have the gun here. But you can untab the gun, which is his blaster from G1, which is very nicely done. And it is painted purple plastic. But then you got this right here. That just, that looks awesome. It really, really does. I was extremely surprised by this figure. Um, Art Teacher for Life ended up getting this figure for me because she knows I've always wanted to have you know, uh, um, a depiction of the 1986 movie that fits within my own mind the way they should look, and he does. It's very first Cyclonus ever owned. Galvatron was more of my speed because I was a big Star Trek fan, and Leonard Nimoy being the voice for um, for uh, Galvatron was even more, you know, on my line. But wow, let's take a look. All right, so here he is, and this is the jet mode if you want to, or the seeker if you want to. Nicely done. You do have areas where you can put, add blast effects if you want to. But overall, this is a very dynamic looking ship. So let's get into its transformation. So the first thing I want to do is I want to untab this back piece back here. You'll see the tab there, and it tabs in right there. You'll see it there. You're going to get it on both sides. You're just going to give it a nice little <clears throat> bump out of the way. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to take this piece here. You're just going to fold this in, and you're going to fold that in. From there, you're going to untab his feet, which is right here. They are on a hinge, so you will just hinge them down. When you do that, you're going to just take this piece here, undo it here. You're going to bring his feet out. Fold this back in, cl close it down, and there's his foot all done. Same thing will happen with this side here. You'll just rock everything down. You'll untab this. Bring his foot out like so. You'll tab that in, and you will collapse it in. And from there, this is what you have. From this aspect, this point here, here you're going to start to untab. You're going to close in the little landing gears this on him until they're all closed up. When you do that, you're going to slowly start to untab the chest area, which is this right here. Just bring it straight down. When you do that, all this will start to untab like so. This will come down like so. This will rock in 
like so. That will go back. From there, you will untab this piece here. And things will start to rock into place. Oh, before I forget, you're going to take this piece here because it's very important to remember this. And you're going to rotate that around like so. Okay? So then everything is like this right here. All right. Then you're going to slowly, if I don't drop the figure, you're going to slowly untab these pieces here. Oop. You don't want that sound. That's for dag, I'm certain. Hmm. Give me a second. Um, that untabs, this untabs. Oh, sorry. Then this piece here untabs. Okay, so we now got this part here. Rotate that around. You're going to start slowly, slowly untabbing all this stuff here. Just like so. Which is like this. This is going to hinge around like so and collapse in like that. And there's that. And this is all going to close up like so. Rotate all that around like so. Bring the chest plate up, which is right there. Then you will collapse this in like so. You will then tab all these pieces together. And the last thing you have to do is you will untab this piece here. You will rock it around like a hurricane. You will do the same thing on the other side. Rock it around like a hurricane. Close it up. Bring it down. And you have Cyclonus all transformed. Which is awesome. You'll take his gun... If you want to, you can tab it in his back if you want to, but I think tabbing it into his hand is better. And so you'll do that. You will untab his arm like so, bring that up, bring this into his hand like so. Untab this piece right here, which you're supposed to, which I keep dropping the figure for crying out loud. And now you have Cyclonus in his robot mode. He does have a waist rotation. His legs kick all the way up, kick all the way back. He does have this nice, nice knee, knee bend. Bring that down like so. Nice there. Ankle tiltage if you want that. And also he has a rocker up and down. His head will go all the way up, it will go down, and it will spin all the way around. It does have this nice light piping that is in there. His arms will go out, and they will go all the way around if you need them to. Same thing with the bicep rotation. And also, on top of that, his wrist has rotation. This, to me, is one of the best Cyclonus figures we have ever gotten from Hasbro. Let's take a look at that guy right there. Take a look at that. Is that not just an awesome figure? I think so, and I think you will too. You need this guy in your collection. You do not have a lot of garbage uh, through him. Everything closes up very well. This will fit very well with what I've seen with the Studio Series 1986 movie. I think that's one of the reasons why we're getting him in the... Uh, the Kingdom line is called Kingdom kind of because of COVID. It was kind of let, let, let out like the redhead stepchild. So here is Cyclonus. He's extremely, very much a heavy figure. He's got a lot of heft to him. And he is an awesome, awesome figure. Highly, highly recommend this guy for you. If you never own a Cyclonus like I haven't, this guy is for you, honestly. By far... He looks exactly like he did jumping out of the 1986 movies. Boom Meow, absolutely awesome. I love it. I'm glad I have him in my uh, collection, and you should too. As my grandfather always said, hold on to something from your youth. You'll never grow old. Look to the stars, grab one for yourself, and you guys, y'all have a great one. Bye, guys.